was cutting down some uh, some uh, logs that I have up on the hill, some pecan, and uh, I was cutting out my blanks and things like that out of them. And I decided, well, you know, why don't I do a video and uh, show people how I how I seal things. I'm uh, I'm a pretty cheap woodworker. I can't afford the high dollar equipment and and uh, products and things like that a lot of times. Uh, and I've used products like Armor Seal and all, and they're excellent products, excellent products. But however, uh, I had a great big candle, and I'm going to melt it down, and that's what I'm going to use to seal the ends. Uh, I want to thank uh, the people on YouTube because I am a self-taught woodworker and wood turner type uh, person, uh, and I was taught a lot by YouTube. It's a great resource, and I, I would just like to give back a little to, uh, you know, say thanks to some of the guys like Captain Eddie Castellan and uh, Bob Hamilton. Uh, a lot of you woodworkers out there that have helped me over the years uh, with your instructional videos. And I'm, I'm just going to show you what I've found that helps work for me. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay. Well, this is what I've got so far. These are just the pieces I cut out of a log. It was a big old piece of pecan. Uh, it's probably about 21, 22 inch diameter. But anyway, I got all these pieces out. Basically, all you want to do is cut out the pith. The part right in the, in the middle of the wood where all the cracks come from. Some of this wood has already got some small cracks in it. And, uh, but that's not going to make too big of a deal. I've cut some of them out. But anyway, I'm going to show you how, how I uh, seal these things. For starters, I start out with a block of wax. My mom gave me this, uh, this big old candle, uh, and it works great. Uh, you can buy paraffin wax or whatever you want, but candles are generally made from paraffin wax, so that's what I use. I chopped it up into pieces and filled up this little can, and the can will be going on to my rocket stove, which I built just for this type of stuff. I use it for burning, uh, I use it for uh, boiling bowls and everything else, and this is my rocket stove here. Okay, now we'll get our rocket stove started. I put in some coarse shaving uh, shavings out of my shop in here. Got me some pine. Right here we're gonna just lay up in there. Uh, of course everybody knows pine burns very well. We are about to fire this stove up. A little piece of this pine. There we go. Better than a match. And the way this thing works, it's just like a chimney is all it is. It pulls hot air, or it pulls uh, air in through here. It gets sucked up and accelerated through the top. These things are voracious. They will eat a lot of wood. I'm hoping that this will, that my wax will actually melt before I run out. Okay, she's really cooking now. It shouldn't be long. It shouldn't be long until uh, I get my wax melted. I just do this to what get my wax melted. It's cheaper and I think it's actually quicker than a propane burner. Now you can see, I mean, it's it's really burning. Okay, well, I just keep adding it in until I get my can full. The can came from. Uh, just an old can of finish that uh, that I'd emptied out, and all that everything is dried up in it. And I cleaned it out, so now I've got me a good clean can to do this with. And it's a lot cheaper than uh, buying some of the commercial 
waxes and all because all I'm doing is sealing the ends of the wood. That's all I'm going to do with it. And as soon as this finishes melting down, I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to coat the ends of, the, of all these pieces. And it's almost done now. So about another three or four minutes and I'll be finished. And I'll be back to uh, start coating these ends. Okay, now with the wax melted, it's taken me probably five, six minutes to melt it. I'm going to set it right down here. Give me a good place to set it. And it'll be a while before this is cooled down enough. But I'm just going to take, I'm going to take an old paintbrush and just take each piece and coat the ends of it. Just like that. It goes on like water. I mean, uh, and you talk about really sealing the ends. This will really seal the ends, but that wax is very, very hot. Yeah, it's very hot. Okay. And I'll just stack this up and continue on. Well, this uh, dark red color uh, looks kind of funny, but uh, Yeah, all I'm doing is, uh, is sealing the ends, the end grain. This one already has some cracks in it because the pith was right here. But that's all right. I'm, I'm probably going to be turning this stuff before it cures anyway. Uh, I get impatient and can't wait, you know, a couple of years for, uh, for something to dry. But I will do each and every one of them. The ends, just put a nice thick coat on it. And this pecan will be ready to turn a little bit later. And I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so here it is. I've got several, uh, several good pieces out of that one. Actually, it was going to be firewood. It was a, a big old log, maybe 19, 20 inch diameter. I got a really large bowl blank, a couple of quarter sewn pieces, some large uh, spindle spindle blanks. Uh, that one's about maybe four and a half by four and a half, six by six. Uh, and then I got these pieces here I can use for uh, you know, whatever. Maybe turn them into pin blanks or bottle stopper blanks or, or whatever. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching. Uh, I'm still new at this YouTube thing, so uh, bear with me just a little bit. Right. You all have a good day.